All right, let's get this party started. <clears throat> Today we're doing some uh, calculus. Specifically, we're doing a little discussion on L'Hopital's rule. And uh, the main idea is the following. If you remember last lecture we had, we reviewed some of the techniques for finding limits from your first semester calculus course. And just so that we're all on the same page, we shall review them again real quickly in two minutes. We had, of course, the plug-in method, which was great when the function was continuous and innocent, such as this x goes to 2 for x squared plus 5. Nothing could be easier in the world. You just plug it in and get your answer. Uh, often, when you try to plug in, you draw one of the famous indeterminate forms, which leads you to uh, other techniques for limits. If you get one of the indeterminate forms, you may try, for example, the rewrite method, which, as a classic example would go something like this x to the second power minus 4 over x minus 2 clearly that can be reduced and rewrite and you're done uh, sometimes it's not that easy to rewrite actually so we have other methods engineers method which was at the end of the day just just a guess uh, the limit as x goes towards infinity 1 over 1 over x raised to the x it's actually kind of difficult to rewrite it per se like this and remove the discontinuity if there was such a thing. Whoa, what? Discontinuity infinity? I know, huh? Uh, so we had the engineer's method, which is a lot like just graphing. If you can plot points, um, you may not prove that you've got the answer, but you may have a really, really good idea of what the answer is. Both of these guys are just guesses, uh, but they're very, very powerful in giving you intuition into the problem especially for for beginning calculus student uh, these were nice uh, for example the limit as x goes to zero for example sine x over x it's kind of tough to rewrite it maybe so if you could plot points a lot like engineers method and graph it you may have a good idea of what that limit is <clears throat> that's where we left off uh, we learned about the indeterminate forms and the famous famous limits now the main idea for L'Hopital is the following. These limits, these four limits, they are eh, they're alright. They're, they're not that powerful, uh, to be honest with you. They're not the most powerful tool that we have. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So I've got a picture for us. Yeah, these, uh, these methods, they're kind of like this car. A little old and maybe not the best ride you can score. Uh, that's what they are, a really, really old, ugliest car in the world. But today, the main idea is that we're learning uh, about L'Hopital, right? And L'Hopital, let me give you, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. So L'Hopital is a little more like this. An Audi R8, oh yeah. I'm so getting that when Dabs makes it big. So, so that's the main idea for today. Uh, these are the uh, <clears throat> um, these are the old old uh, techniques uh, for finding limits. Why am I drawing this? These are the old <clears throat> methods. They're a lot like that. Uh, L'Hopital is so much more powerful. Uh, it's uh, tr you know smooth. It's attractive. It's it's everything that you would want the technique to be for limits. It's, it's a lot like an R8. Okay, That's the main idea for, for today. Um, it's a fifth method for finding limits. We had four. This provides a fifth method. Um, in order to, to, sh to show you the power, we need a little bit more review from, from, your, from your previous class. Uh, we should probably review a little uh, from your basic definitions of derivatives. Just in case you're rusty. I know a lot of you guys are taking this course after a long summer break that took away all your math mojo. So real quickly, the definition, the, the limit, it's, a lot of people will say this, f prime of, of a, uh, they'll say, well, it's the limit as h goes to zero, f of a plus h minus uh, f of a all over h. Yeah, that definition is, eh, I, I really don't like it, but a lot of books do it, and I'm sorry that you probably have that definition if you took some low life calculus course. <clears throat> the definition that I love most um, is the limit as x goes to um, c of f of x minus f of c all over x minus c. This, this is what we would call f prime of c. Uh, the two definitions are logically equivalent but uh, this definition is kinda like uh, this 
and this definition is kind of like this uh-huh take that anyways <clears throat> you can see you can probably guess which one I prefer from that so so you should make sure you review it um, and now now for the main for the main to conclude the main idea here for L'Hopital relax chill so what square cups I know huh square espresso cups yeah I've done that <clears throat> all right what you can and can't do uh, it's easy if you have a fraction here uh, let's say something like uh, oh my goodness this thing every time I change to a picture it trips on me don't worry I'm getting better watch how well I recover from this little fumble alright so what you can and can't do here are some things that you can and can do if I have a 5 over a 3 <clears throat> the thing that you can't do is you can't take that fraction I'm just talking algebra like third grade algebra you can't go on and add a 1 there and add a 1 there uh, and still call that equal in fact it wouldn't be equal okay but you what you can do is if I have a 5 and a 3 what you can do is yeah, I can subtract 0 and I can subtract 0 from both sides you can't be adding or subtracting any number on the numerator and the denominator even if it's the same number whatever you do on top or whatever in the bottom you can't just play that game however you could in a very very special case when that's a zero that turns out to be the key to this amazingly powerful idea L'Hopital um, I know huh who would have thought and how, how is that related to all these limits I know huh? it's amazing let me put it all together um, in the next slide you ready let me see if I should do it on the next line here's the punchline alright so here we go so suppose you, you go on and you're finding a limit and you've got the limit of some function as x goes to whatever see f of x over some other function g of x so you got some fraction like this some stuff on the top some stuff on the bottom and you go on innocently and try to plug in method and say hey maybe the functions continues just plugging it in would work and then and one of the very very common things happens and you get excuse me zero over zero See what? That's a famous indeterminate form. Now what are you going to do? Well, if it was, if this was yesterday, you know what you would have had to do? Start writing, baby. You got to ride this car. Whoa, what? What? See, this one doesn't. That If it was yesterday, that's the choice you've got right there. Yeah. Um, but today we got more powerful ideas. Today we have a different take on this. Today we go, wow, you can start, be you begin to get happy and say, this is exactly, exactly what I like. Um, I prefer this way because now I can, darn it, all right, darn it, all right, um, darn it, what, sorry about that guys, I might edit it out, maybe not, I'll let a pure human, all right, um, uh, so, so before you would have had, you would have been stuck with the ugly car with the four techniques for finding limits. Today, when you see that, you get a big smile on your face and say it's lopet all the time. Because watch what happens. If that's the case, then that means that f of c. This means that f of c was when you plugged it in. When you plugged it in, f of c became zero, and g of c became zero. Right? That's what happens if you plugged it in and you got zero or zero. That means that each of these was equal to zero to begin with. And that means that this limit could I could rewrite it as the limit as x goes to c of f of x minus f of c all over g of x minus g of c. Usually a very very illegal idea to subtract the stuff on the numerator and denominator. Usually it's not a good idea even if when you were in third grade. But today it's good in this special case when you're only subtracting zero and zero from the denom from, from each of the top and the bottom. And then you go on and you do something unthinkable here. You um, you take the top here and you subtract by whoa f of x minus uh, minus f of c all over x minus c g of x minus g of c all over x minus c you go on and you subtract the top and the bottom uh, you divide top and bottom by x minus c and you say whoa what now the top if each of these limits existed and, and it's finite um, and the bottom is not zero you could take this limit and 
distributed to the top to the numerator function and to the denominator function. And that looks really, really familiar. That looks exactly like the definition of a derivative. This leaves you to believe that this would be f prime of c over g prime of c. Uh-huh. Whoa, say what? Look at the conclusion here. Whenever you get 0 or 0, you can play this game, subtract it, divide by that. That means that the original limit was the same as the limit of the derivative on top and over the limit of the derivative on the bottom. That's an amazing idea. And there are, if not every, there are some logical holes in this explanation, but I'm just giving you a sketch of the ideas. If you're sophisticated enough to point out the flaws here, then you're sophisticated enough to resolve them yourself. Um, this is main, mainly geared towards the general public. Watch how powerful this is. Uh, suppose you take a simple limit like this. Uh, you take the limit as x goes to c of sine of... Well, why am I writing it? I think I already wrote it. Uh, you try the plug-in method here. You like that? And you get 0 over 0. And you say, usually you would have started crying and you would have said, Oh man, i got to go on my 1975 gremlin. Um, today you get happy and you say, That means I can apply L'Hopital. By applying L'Hopital, you take the derivative of the top. Take the derivative of sine. Not even quotient rule. Just the derivative of the top, which would be cosine of x. The derivative of the bottom, which would be 1. And you try your 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 uh, luck again. Limit as x, as x goes to 0, well, that would be 1. Just like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I told you. Didn't I tell you? I told you. See why they pay me? That's amazing right there. Um... Uh, the fact that um, you could, in you know, one line, solve this problem, or before it wasn't that easy. Here, let's try it again. Let's show you how powerful it is. So you've got this limit here, and you you want to use L'Hopital. At first, you try the plug-in method. If you try the plug-in method, uh, aren't it? I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry. So. If you try the plug-in method, you get zero, uh, infinity over infinity. It turns out that when you have built both of these cases, zero over zero or infinity over infinity, this could be plus or minus, it doesn't matter. That's that's L'Hopital time. You get happy and say, uh, it's time for the R8 of, Lop of limits. Uh, and so then you say, okay, I'm going to apply L'Hopital. And you take the dirt of the top, it's e to the x. You take the dirt of the bottom, it's 1. Now you pl now you try the plug-in method again. This, of course, is still the limit as x goes towards infinity. And you get, of course, infinity in two steps. It's so, so powerful, so slick. It's beautiful. That's the L'Hopital rule. Um, now, before we finish this, let me just say the big picture. The big picture is like this. This is perfect for L'Hopital. This is perfect for L'Hopital. And the big picture goes like this. Any of the other seven indeterminate forms, you can always, always, always tweak them using your excellent algebra skills. You can always tweak them so that you can rewrite it into those forms. And so it's a very, very happy ending here um, in so many ways. It's a happy ending because no matter which one of the seven indeterminate forms, you can always tweak them and, uh, and of course, uh, use the power and the elegance uh, of uh, L'Hopital's rule. All right, that's your L'Hopital intro. Come back for some deeper examples, some side B examples. We'll see you guys here next time. Peace.